Welcome to Analysts. This is a video tutorial on the main switchboard and to start with you would have your logo put up in this area here. And this logo also from any page will take you back to this main switchboard page. The page names are always going to be right here in between these two heavy bars. So whatever page that you're on and there's about 700 different pages the page name will always display right here. The button for home will always take you back here as well, back to the home page. Um, log out, of course, will allow you to log out. Print, we allow printing on any page within Atlas. So you can print out any of your documents or reports, uh, numbers, etc. Um, there's a help file on every page. So there's about 700 different help files that specifically tell you what's going on on that page. The back button, of course, goes back. You can also use your back buttons up at the top left of your browser window, including your history back button or the button I like to call the super back button. If you have multiple corporations um, under your user login, you'll have this link here so that you can switch easily between as many different businesses as you own or work for and you can be looking at the same reports in the same uh, companies. Over on the left we have our quick search and this page will follow you through each page within the system. You're able to just type in a couple letters into the search box here select one of the radio buttons below depending on your permissions and you can easily go to that invoice, PO, part number, etc. etc. Next is the system basics. We have a quick link here to start a new shopping cart. Below is customer logs and this is a completion of all of the customer logs in other words the log entries of contacts with those different customers that are made by anyone within the uh, corporation. Uh, quotes, this link takes you specifically right to your quotes under your username as we're tracking your username when you log in and you can also switch it to include all quotes. Clock in and out, my hours are part of your um, online clock in and out for payroll so you can clock in and out and you can also check your hours as they build password and profile is just that that's where you change your password profile profit and discount calculator allows you to quickly calculate a profit or a discount on any item that you're selling the link for profit and discount calculator is also included up in numerous other locations with the respective parts or units that you're selling a finance loan calculator allows you to calculate amortized payments over a time period for large uh, ticket items that you're trying to get financed. Uh, the financial flow calculator exhibits income statement and balance sheet fields that you can put different numeric um, examples into these fields and it will let you know if you're in balance or not in balance. Of course, the system, our system, has a complete income statement balance sheet. This is meant just to give you an idea of what's happening in there, to kind of a training aid. And view web inventory is where you can access what is being displayed that's being web serviced out to your website. System assets contain just that. These are what we consider to be your assets, your invoices, I mean quotes, invoices, if you have recipes, deposits, your receivables, reoccurring invoicing, statements, um, adding serialized inventory and stock units and manager's checkbook. System liabilities, expense receipts or the monies that are flowing out of your bank, your PO homepage, payables, floor plan, and of course your manager's time clock and admin time clock and payroll. System reports are history homepage. This is a concise drill down of all of the history that's happening in the entire system. Here's where your parts are contained, 
serialized units are contained, sold serialized units, and sold and profit reports for all uh, types of parts, um, services, etc. You have running bank balances that include um, all of your banks with drill down, in, including all of your different accounts coming out of those banks. Income statement balance sheet, of course, and under system maintenance, flex grid, customers, vendors. Here's our expense types for money flowing out of the bank, money flowing into the bank. These are account types. And we have a global parts markup tool that allows you to take all the parts and quickly mark those up. Same with serialized units. You can add and edit models and makes, add banks and departments and locations. System management, you can add and edit payees and permissions and manage your corp info and permissions. Now once again, these permissions are all on a permission basis, so everything I have currently turned on are all of the permissions, and the other tutorials will get into each of these areas. And once again, thanks for using Atlas.